Firm resilience. When you think about diversity, the employee network group is fundamental to any organization to provide a community and a belonging environment for the employees. They provide an avenue to support employees and ultimately leads to retention of the best and brightest. The employee network represents the community at large and it provides a good feedback loop to senior management to make the appropriate decisions, which ultimately contributes towards the bottom line. If you're thinking about growing your business, if you're thinking about driving the business forward, inclusion is a strong part of this. I am Peter Akwabwa and we are Morgan Stanley. In any business, you ride the line between numbers and people. What's right for the business and what's best for everyone who depends on it. Solving today's challenges while creating future opportunities. It takes balance. CLA, CPAs, consultants, and wealth advisors. We'll get you there. My plane has mechanical problems. I'll try to get there as soon as I can. Breakfast looks delicious, as always. Having a chauffeur car plane side helped keep me on schedule. Hi, Jeff. With all the plane shortages, did you have trouble finding one? I never have any trouble. I simply pick a plane, pay, and I'm ready to badge it to my destination. Are there any taxis around? I'm really late for my meeting. Do we have a deal? Tom, missed you at the meeting today. Badge it and don't miss out on the most important moments of your life. Call for a complimentary flight. After talking and texting for years, we got married for the family plan. And then we really expanded our family for the wireless savings. It seemed like the responsible thing to do. And then, just yesterday, my sister told me about Visible. Yeah, get unlimited data for as low as $25 a month. No family needed. Family plan savings without the family. Get Visible, single line wireless with unlimited data for as low as $25 a month. Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. It is time to have the light round. Chris Baby, this way, Bob Foss, what are you going to do? Play And then the lightning round's over. Are you ready to keep that? To have the light round, Chris. We might start with Bill and Ido. Bill. Hi, Jim. Thanks for taking my call today. Of course. Today. Thank you. Hey, hey, my question is on Lemonade. This past year. Lemonade. Man, those guys made lemonade. Sell, 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 sell. Into lemon. <laughs> Jim in New York. Jim. Good day, sir, from Soto County, New York. Uh, investment club members since January and Lillian. Uh Here's my question. I'm considering WMB. I like WMB. They got a 5% yield. I think it's looking real good. Let's go to James in Virginia. James. Hey, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. I'm just uh, calling to ask you about the stock microchip and see if they're going to recover. Very inexpensive semiconductor stock down here. I wouldn't mind buying it. I think it's good. Let's go to Judson in Iowa. Judson. Jim, I'm bullish on the cybersecurity sector. Do you think CrowdStrike is one of the winners in this space? CrowdStrike's number two, and number one is Palo Alto Networks. Let's go to Nick in Florida. Nick! Hello. I'm deeply honored to be talking to the smartest and busiest business guy on television. Oh, I wish I were, but thank you. I like that. Okay. I'm calling today about the good old standby Ma Bell, AT&T. No, don't like the balance sheet. I'd rather be in Verizon. I feel safer about the yield. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Hey, I'm Kramer. Kramer. Well, the man money. money. What's the box? Doesn't care. I now pronounce you man and bull. Mm. Let's take calls. Who is buzzing me? Who is buzzing me? Which one of you? My first options trade? Well, let's just say I did my homework. I love the courses, enjoyed the videos, studied all the strategies, but I still wanted someone to walk me through it. So I called up TD Ameritrade. Hi. That's when I met Eva. She's an options specialist who talked me through the process and helped me learn all the tools as I made my very first options trade. Eva, thank you. 
Feel confident making your first options trade with a passionate trader community, personalized education, and devoted trade desk support. TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. At Empower, we believe in opening doors. Let us help move you towards financial freedom for all of life's moments. We've been helping over 17 million customers create the future they want, and we're ready to open some doors for you. A custom club fitting from Club Champion helps any golfer level up, even pros like me. And with greater accuracy, more distance, and fewer putts, you're guaranteed to lower your scores instantly. So schedule your custom fitting today and see how low you can go. We're excited to do business with you, but before we sign, I gotta ask. Sure, anything. We searched you online, and maybe you can explain this? Can't believe that garbage is still coming in. That is so false. Frustrated with your online search results? Call Reputation Defender today to join tens of thousands who've improved their online reputation. Get your free reputation report card at reputationdefender.com or call 1-877-866-8555. Renovating an RV like me, the last thing you want to have to deal with is going to buy something you need and not having enough money for it. With our time spending account, we can get our paychecks up to two days early with direct deposit. So I get to focus on the fun stuff. Now on topstakes.cnbc.com. America's top stakes for business. Get all the data and complete state analysis online. See where your state ranks. Find out on topstakes.cnbc.com. Coming up, preventing a nuclear Iran. The president's move to handle the threat. Plus, the Indiana doctor facing an abortion investigation. The news, minutes away. The facts, the truth. The news with Shepard Smith. Next, CNBC. Welcome to my world. We call my world mad money. Let's go to Regis in New York. Kramer, how are you? Now don't laugh. Give me the skitty on Time Warner. That's Regis Philbin that's calling. Claudia! Booyah, Jim. Let's take a call. Go to Tim in California. Tim. Hey, Jim. I'm calling from Cupertino, California, to be exact. This is Tim Cook at Apple, and I want to congratulate you on 10 great years of mad money. That's a good call. Well, wow. The consumer's just about had it with these price increases. I say that because Costco's business has gotten stronger and stronger, going through the roof. And, and, that, and that's where you go when you can't take it anymore. A trip to Costco is a rebellion against higher prices. Costco's unique membership model, where the profits are made off the card, allows them to sell the highest quality generic product under their Kirkland brand. And consumers lap it up because it's every bit as good as the name brand stuff. Oh, by the way, the name brand stuff is real cheap there, too. Case in point, chicken. This morning, ConAgra reported and said it had to deal with a 60% increase in chicken costs this quarter. But Costco built a facility that processes 2 million chickens a week, which allows us to sell its rotisserie chickens darn good for much less than the competition. They just directly cut out the middleman rather than passively accepting invitation. The uh, inflation. By the way, just because they, uh, uh, th just because ConAgra pays up 60 doesn't mean it's the same kind of chicken, but you get what I mean. That competitive advantage is one of the chief reasons why CEO Craig Jelinek sounded so confident on squawking the street over this week. Costco is the place to go when you want to avoid the myriad price increases that so many consumer packaged goods companies are trying to put through. You just trade down to Kirkland. I think we'll know when inflation has run its course at the pocketbook level once those price increases can't be sustained. Everyone's going to be making a pilgrimage to Costco rather than the local supermarket. That's part of the process. The problem with this bout of inflation so far is that there's, has, there's been almost no trade down, at least to speak of. Consumers simply haven't started changing their behavior in order to push back. But believe me, it is coming. The market's beginning to anticipate it. Buyers have bid up Dollar General in anticipation of the coming trade down. As part of price, as pr prices go higher, people tend to get more frugal. But with the exception of the boom at Costco, I'm not seeing it. In fact, only RH, the old restoration hardware, has been adamant that the consumer's fed up. That's why this great company now is a miserable stock. So what will tell us when the trade down has truly arrived? First, I like to see a decline in higher-end restaurant spending. That's the easiest thing to happen, the easiest thing to cut out. 
Hasn't worked yet. Maybe American Express will take the other side of the trade when they report next week. Maybe Visa or MasterCard can give us some insight. Second, we need to see a decline in travel. Another totally discretionary spending item. Hasn't happened yet either. Finally, third, more sales of knockoff store-branded merchandise at the major chains and, of course, a boost in Costco's membership. Why hasn't it happened? I think people are still living off the fat of the savings they had because they didn't go anywhere for almost two years, plus the government stimulus checks and their previous gains in the stock market, even though those checks have stopped a while ago and the gains are now evaporating. Consumers were sitting on that money for a long time because there wasn't much to spend it on. When that money runs out, which will probably happen sooner rather than later, then you'll start seeing major consumer pushback on inflation. You get that pushback, and the Fed won't have to raise interest rates as aggressively anymore. In the interim, though, it's all about owning Costco, as we do for the charitable trust, and it's not too late to buy it. And now, for the last time, for an amazing set in Studio C, America's first home. I like to say there's always a bull market somewhere, and I promise to try to find it just for you right here on Mad Money. I'm Jim Cramer. See you Monday from my new home at the New York Stock Exchange. The news with Shepard Smith starts now.